Hello dear students, welcome back to Bio Vidyalaya. I hope you all are doing very well. So today we are going to discuss about the difference between two proteins, lamin and laminin. There is a chance of confusion between these two proteins because of the similarity between the names. That's why I took this topic for discussion. So without further delay, let's get into today's class. So let's see about lamin. Uh, what type of protein is lamin? Uh, where it is present? What are the functions of this protein? Let's see that. Lamins are fibrous protein in the type 5 intermediate filaments of animal cell nucleus. So this lamin protein is present in animal cell nucleus. It is a nuclear protein. It is present in animal cell nucleus. It is not present in microorganism or plant cell. So it is uh, present in animal cell nucleus. It is a fibrous protein and uh, it is coming under type 5 intermediate filaments. Okay, it is coming under type 5 intermediate filaments. It is also known as nuclear lamins. It is also known as nuclear lamins. Nuclear lamins interact with inner nuclear membrane proteins to form the nuclear lamina on the interior of the nuclear envelope. So, this uh, lamins, nuclear lamins that will interact with inner nuclear membrane protein. Okay, inner membrane proteins of the nucleus and, it, and then it will form a mesh like structure called a nuclear lamina. Here you can see that this is nuclear lamina, this network that is called a nuclear lamina that is present in the inside interior of the nuclear envelope okay so nuclear lamins interact with inner nuclear membrane proteins to form nuclear lamina on the interior of the nuclear envelope okay so this nuclear lamina help in the disassembly and reformation of the nuclear envelope during mitosis. This lamin, the protein lamin that will undergo phosphorylation and dephosphorylation, that's why it will undergo disassembly and reformation of the nuclear envelope during mitosis. Okay. Positioning of nuclear pores. It is helping in the positioning of nuclear pores. This is nuclear pore. And it is also helping in apoptosis, programmed cell death. So what are the function? Disassembly and reformation of the nuclear envelope during mitosis, positioning of nuclear pores and apoptosis. Okay. So nuclear, sorry. So lamin is, Lamin protein is present in animal cell nucleus. Okay. That you have to remember. Okay. Next is laminins. Laminins are extracellular matrix glycoprotein. They are glycoproteins present in extracellular matrix. Here you can see that this is intracellular, this is plasma membrane and this is extracellular. Here you can see many extracellular proteins are present. Here this cross-like structure is laminin. So laminin is extracellular matrix protein. Here other proteins like collagen, proteoglycan, fibronectin, etc. are present. Okay. So, these laminins are major component of basal lamina. Basal lamina is uh, one layer of basement membrane. Okay. 
so they are present in they are major component of basement membrane that is helping in influencing cell differentiation migration and adhesion okay so this laminins are helping in cell differentiation migration and adhesion they are also helping in um, cell signaling also okay so you have to remember that lamin lamin is nuclear protein and laminins are extracellular matrix protein okay i think this video will be helpful for you if it is helpful please share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel there is one question for you this is the question from dbt jr of 2019 Which one of the following intermediate filament is present in the nucleus? Options are option A, vinculin, option B, lamin, option C, nestin, and option D, laminin. Please try to answer this question and comment me your answer in the below comment section. Keep learning. Thank you.